<laughs> you know the sex is real good when she starts going <laughs> 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 tonight on Crashing with Friends podcast. I'm tonight's host. I don't know. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Uh, How you doing, know. man? How am I doing? Yeah. We're we, we just open it up like that? We can. We can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You can do it. Yeah, who cares? Want, man. Yeah. Tonight on Crashing with Friends podcast, Connor Hobbs, Kyle Hobbs, and Jackson Brayman get to the bottom of things. <laughs> Tonight, we find out who gives a shit about Bigfoot. Update, no one does, so fuck them. No. <laughs> That's not true. That's we not do true. We, we do. Bigfoot's, yeah. a bit, Bigfoot's huge. Sasquatch yeah. is what we Sasquatch. like to call here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sam Squatch. <laughs> if you want to go real trailer park with it. <laughs> There's a fucking Sam Squatch. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, we've been pretty good so far. Really looking forward to seeing Dune Part Two this weekend in IMAX. It's going to be huge. It's Big going to time. be the it's going to be the biggest thing in sci-fi in a long time, and uh, also maybe eat Lambers or something like that afterwards. Maybe Hooters. I don't know. Whenever we go to Springfield, it's got to be one of those two places: Hooters or Lambert's. Mm-hmm. Hooters has such good food; people don't get it. I mean, I go there and I get the same thing every single time, and I hope they still have it when I go there. It's like the buffalo shrimp. No, I I think you get the I, buffalo shrimp. I usually shrimp. get buffalo shrimp, but I mean, I might change it up. You never know. Yeah, I usually will get like Ooh. the uh, boneless chicken wings, but I will get the habanero barbecue, and it's. It's the most delicious barbecue flavor I've ever tasted, and it's super spicy. And I love it. I, I love spicy sauces. As long as it tastes good, I will eat it. But, yeah. That fucking the bomb sauce that you had made me try it? Fuck that. Never doing that ever again. I'll do a whole bottle of last dab before I do one more of that. Freaking hot ones tricks you. It is the bomb that is the most fucked up sauce on that show, man. Every time, I, every time I see a celebrity try that bomb sh- shit, I'm like, man, I know what they're feeling right now. And it ain't good. I don't really know if they're tricking you because they definitely, Sean definitely calls it out quite often that this is the hottest one. Well, in the earlier seasons, like, I mean, for a while, he always said, like, if you could take this one, then the rest of them are basically, you're not going to feel them because you've, like, you've already took the shotgun to the head right yeah it does kind of does kind of mess your taste buds up early <clears throat> right or, you know it's like that takes you already to a point of no return so there's like at what point you know mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know I don't know. I, I was about to make something really crude, but I decided not to say it. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> it's like when you service one horse and you finish it, then there's two more right after that. <laughs> You've already done the one. <laughs> Go ahead and just get the money you're going to get from the other two horses. <laughs> That's got to be the shittiest job ever, man. It's like, uh, I'm the guy that services the horses. <laughs> well, they've got like a device for it, right? Yeah. I'm the guy that has to, to grab it and put it into this other one. The jar, you know? yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy that has to grab it and put it into this other thing. And then I hold this other thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you put that into the, uh, the, the girl, right? And you don't want to be the yeah. one that's known for, like, the reason that you're doing is because you're the most accurate with it. You know, that's just like, you don't really want to be known for that. I've done this since I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> My big brother showed me. <laughs> and daddy showed him. 
Yeah. <laughs> and we never, I never had a younger brother, so it's always been me. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, bet, I bet that's how a lot of farm work is, man. The shittiest work just gets passed on to the youngest person. Mm -hmm. You think? Yeah, like dishes. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I need to talk to some of my farm family. I don't ever talk to them about farming. They're all of them. Are, almost all of them are farmers. I don't ever talk to them at all about like what's it like farming. Chickens. Yeah, you got a lot. Chicken, sheep, llamas, or alpacas. It's either llamas or alpacas. Whichever one, we'll see coyotes, and we'll be like, uh, fuck you, and just immediately chase after him. <laughs> <laughs> you know how llamas are. They, they keep just a straight face, but then they just start running for you, and they're just like chewing the entire time. It's, so <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> They got like those, they got like those weird fucking rabbit lips, you know, like they, they do different things, <laughs> <laughs> split. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Alpacas oh, are crazy looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I bet I could fucking get in on farm life, man. If it was strictly just taking care of animals, I bet I could get in on farm life. Why don't you hit one of them up then and be like, hey, I need to get in on farm life. You got some farm for me? Yeah, well, you got to have the land. Well, like you <laughs> said you had people in your family with farms. That's what I just said. Yeah. I don't think this is like, yo, like America's trying to butt fuck farmers as it is, man. Mm -hmm. So you got to have water. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cows and chicken, all that stuff, man. Mm-hmm. It's pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> other, other <than> that, <laughs> it's pretty fucking insane, man. So you'd be an animal farmer. You wouldn't be like a vegetable farmer. I, w I think I would be better off as more of an animal sanctuary. You know, I would Did hate, I would hate having to herd cattle in to take them to the slaughterhouse or the auction house or whatever they call it. I know that they don't have to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just like, man, I don't want to have to, like, any animals I have, I'm like, man, I don't want to have to take them to, like, slaughter for some reason. I, if anything, I'd much rather sell them knowing that they're still going to stay alive. But Okay. So, that's why I always say, like, dude, freaking start a lizard farm or whatever they call it. Lizard house? There's a certain word for it. There's a certain word for it. <laughs> Is it like a, they call it like a sauna or something? Sauna. <laughs> I don't know. I don't um, know. But um, I can see like breeding like reptiles and stuff like that. I just don't think there's a huge demand for them here in this like area. I don't know. I know somebody that used to like breed like them, but they don't do it anymore. Like snakes and shit. I would fucking love to like breed snakes. Breeding snakes would be dope, dude. <laughs> Keep going. Let's hear more. <laughs> what, you want to hear more reptiles that I think? Pretty much all the reptiles, honestly. The sickest one to me, though, would be freaking Asian water monitors. <laughs> Ever since I watched Rescuers Down Under, I'm like, dude, I want a fucking Asian water monitor. They're just so cool looking. Can you imagine just walking through them all like, yeah, this is my... This is my, uh, whatever you call it, support animal. Yeah. <laughs> this is what makes me feel comfortable. Yeah. What was the name of Joanna? Is that it? Have you seen Rescuers Down Under? How long has it been? Oh, man. I've, I've never seen I, it. If I've seen it, it's been once, and it was 25 years ago. Ah, oh, man. It's a good one. <laughs> I think it's Joanna, but yeah, ever since I've seen that movie, I'm like, dude, I want an Asian water monitor. Because it's like the closest thing you can get to a Komodo dragon without it having like that crazy poisonous venom, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Is is part of it just the fact that you like saying that word, those set of words, Asian water monitor? Not really. No. Is that what you would name a band? No, not at all. That's not. I'd, I'd go with something like the motorcycle diaries of Anne Frank or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've heard you say I'd, that I'd go with, I'd go with like one of those dumb old school MySpace names. What, what was that one? The high school tea party massacre or some shit? Preschool tea party Dance massacre. club massacre. Yeah. Preschool tea party massacre. I, I don't even remember anything of like what those bands sound like. Except for Dance Club Massacre. I had one of their albums back in the day. And that if you listen to it all the way to the end, at the very end, <clears throat> skip like 10 minutes into like this hidden track. All of a sudden, here's a, a 30 minute song of 99 bottles of beer on the wall done in just one single riff all the way through. And they go through every single one. It's... It's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge. If you know what Dance Club Massacre sounds like and what you you know the lyrics to 99 bottles of beer on the wall, we can start it right now if you want. <laughs> but yeah. What's, it's, going, what's going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys let me talk for so long? I'm just, I, I was wanting like more I was wanting more crazy stuff, but like where did where did it what go? Else? Like <laughs> I don't know. You, you guys never let me talk this long. <laughs> you usually cut me off and like try to ask me something more poignant to stay on point somewhere. No man. I'm blaming you guys for this. <laughs> I'm not on medications. I'm just Raw dog in life right now. Free balling. Yeah. Okay. Kyle? You- Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, how's your life going? <laughs> Man. Uh, how's the week? It's been good. I've been watching a lot of movies, getting prepared for Dune Part 2. Um, Just watching Denny Villeneuve movies. Denny Villeneuve, how are you say it? Duenaville. I don't know if that's how you say it. Doing E Villa. I don't think that's how you say it. Um, Like Arrival. Arrival's good. It's not like Dennis Villanueva or something like that? No. That's the wrong pronunciation? Villanoasis. No. Vernacular. I don't know. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. But I watched Sicario for the first time, dude. The movie has blew my mind. And also, uh, I watched Tenet for the first time all the way through. That's a Christopher Nolan movie. That movie also blew my mind. One of the coolest fight scenes I've ever seen happens like halfway through that movie. It's crazy. In dude. reverse? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that fight scene? I know the concept of the movie. That's all. So. Yeah. yeah, it's like about halfway through the whole movie kind of like shifts a little bit. And then it starts like the reverse time stuff and... Mm-hmm. It's really rad. I actually recommend it. The first half was really confusing, and I got through the first half maybe four or five times, and every time I'd get to the first half, I'm like, this is over my head. <clears throat> but this last time I watched it, I watched it, and it really was good, even though the ending was still over my head, and I'm going to have to rewatch it again because that ending was like, what? They gave so much information in like a 30-second to like two-minute period, and then the movie was over. It's like, what the fuck? It's like the but, breakdown during like a heist movie where it goes like showing you all these things. It's like, oh, yeah. too many revelations. Yeah, the main the main character was this, and then there was this, and then this happened, and then it was like, oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. But it was really good. I recommend it. It's a uh, like Christopher Nolan's James Bond movie, pretty much. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Nice, Connor. Um, had a good week. Uh, played Helldivers two with Jackson. Oh yeah, bit, love know. defending democracy, but <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a, a great time. Um, I started playing Final Fantasy seven Rebirth today. Got like an hour or so into that. Well, that came out today, huh? Yeah, came out today for us. Um, yeah, really good, really good so far. Probably talk more about that later, but yeah, played that a little bit. Um, finished season two of Jujutsu Kaisen, and shout out to David for making me watch second season. Cause I was I was sleeping on it, you know, um, but it was it was really good. Then um, finished the Netflix Avatar, The Last Airbender. Did you like it? I really did like it. I thought the casting was really good. I thought the uh, script was mostly pretty good. Um, the Soka or Sokka, the guy. Um, I was a little bit worried about his like casting, but then like he won me over by like the end of the first episode, so it, it wasn't a big deal. Um, 
but yeah, I, I really liked it. I can see why people like the anime. I, I can't speak on that. But I thought as far as like a TV show, I give it like at least an eight, you know? Yeah. I'm excited to watch it. Like I'm holding off on it because I'm still finishing the animated show. Even though I watched it whenever it came out, I haven't watched it since that time I was watching it. So I'm going through it again before I start the new Netflix show. But man, I'm looking forward to it. It looks good. It looks like it only goes through the first season of the cartoon show, so if you watch through that, you could probably watch the, the Netflix one. Good. I was hoping that they would do that and not try to just cram it all in like M. Night Shyamalan tried to do with that movie. Mm-hmm. Did he really cram the whole first season into that first into that movie? <clears throat> he tried, yeah. Really? Dang. I, I need to watch the movie just to see how bad it is. God, man. It's... It, it really is like a next level piece of shit. <laughs> it really is a next level. Dragon Ball Z, like, uh, or whenever they made evolution. that. Yeah, it's like the, on that level of awful. Rats come down, he dies. Nappa comes down and dies, or whatever. Vegeta comes down. It's like, does, does all that happen like super quick? Is that. No, nah, I just remember the movie just, just being. Is it just Piccolo? Or? I just remember, in the, like, in M. Night Shyamalan's version, it was just insanely not good acting. It felt like there was zero heart mm. in it, you know? Like, because if you watch the animated show, there's heart in it, you know? A lot of comedy. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of, light, a lot of light moments. There was, like, not that in this movie. I don't know. You just have to watch it. Like... It doesn't hold up if you like Avatar Last Airbender. It doesn't hold up if you like movies. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, even. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying Dragon Ball for some reason. You're talking about Avatar. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, both of them. Yeah. Honestly, both of them. Who directed Dragon Ball Evolution? Uh, I'll, need, I'll look that up. But yeah. Have you ever seen it, Connor? No, I've never seen <laughs> it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't saw it in theater. Everybody I went and saw it with, because that was back when theaters would get full of people. Yeah, and it was like on opening weekend, and I went in with a bunch of people, and we watched it, and we all walked out so shell shocked, walking through the parking lot, talking to each other, like, "What did we just watch? <laughs> the fuck was that?" Uh, James Wong. <laughs> James it. Wong made it. Yeah, James Wong directed it. Well, everyone's got blemishes on their record. You said yeah. James Wong. Wong, not James Wan. So yeah. The One, which we love The One. Final Destination, Final Destination 3. Um, the Boys Next Door. I don't know. So not too many movies? I don't know The Boys Next Door. There's other ones. Um, something called Willard. Space, Above and Beyond. Black Christmas. Um, Rosemary's Baby. Mr. Vampire 4. <laughs> You must have done a remake of Rosemary's Baby because that one was uh, it's just 2014. Yeah, that's got that's definitely a remake. Is it good? Rosemary's Baby, the remake. I've never seen the remake, but I know that the original is pretty good. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've I've wanted to watch it just to see how bad it is, but I never actually wanted to waste my time with it. Uh, isn't F1 about to start? I Drive to Survive was just on. Did you guys watch that? I am currently watching that. I'm like on the fifth episode, so fifth or sixth episode, something like that. Mm, they don't powerful. focus on Red Bull at all because Red Bull is like you know, as you remember, fucking basically swept the entire yeah, season. Yeah, so, nobody cares about Red Bull right now. Yeah, they've been focusing on uh, all the teams that are having drama going on behind the scenes. Hmm. You keep telling that one dude that is like running Haas, you know, the, I forget his name, he's, but he's like, the, he's Gunter? become a character that everyone loves now. Like Gunter or something. Yeah. He's got like the mustache going on. The big nose. Does he have a big nose? I think so. I don't know. Black hair. It's kind of like blackish gray, like really cut down. Yeah. Gunter. But for Haas. It's for Haas. Yeah. Yeah. Gunter, everyone is like, it, it's like no shame in slowing down is what they keep telling him like he's like he's gonna stop being the dude for it. I'm like, nah, keep going, man. But yeah, so far drive for uh, drive to survive is pretty good. I'm enjoying it. 
Gunther Steiner. That's his name. Yeah, I'm. I'm so bad at learning and keeping the names in my head. You know, all my head is names. Yeah. That's it. I'm good with movie. Like I'm good with actor and actresses though. Mm-hmm. I'm insanely good with that. Like I found like. I've told you this before, but you can give me like one actor or actress that are like something that is like completely different and then another actress and I can connect them through like all the movies that I've seen. So like I like I can like this person was in this movie who was also in this movie who was also in this movie. I, I'll I'll make the connection at some point. Like right. yeah. Like six degrees of so, separation. Like so many people have tried testing me. I fucking stumped every single one of them, man. They've given me like crazy actors. Like connect, Connor. Fucking do it. Give him one. The, I I promise you, you can't stump me. Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No. <laughs> Why that one? <laughs> connect him. Uh, Try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If you want, if you really want me to, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, that's okay. one movie. But like, I'm talking like, like people would be like, all right, try to connect, fucking the dude from Brink to, I don't know, uh, the dude from Blue's Clues. Dude, that would be a fucking hard one because I only I don't know anyone. Else. He's only been on Blues Clues as far as I know, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know anyone that's gone okay. on Blues Clues. That's a, that's an impossible you. one. I got one for you. Okay, Tom Holland and Drew Carey. Tom Holland and Drew Carey. Price All right. is right. Oh, I I I can't do TV shows. That's okay. That's like a thing. I gotta think of movies of the Drew Carey has been in. Okay, so it's gotta be movie stars. Can't be any TV. Just give me a second to think of try to. I'm trying to think of a movie that Drew Carey has been in. I'm drawing a. I've. <laughs> God, that's fucking <laughs> destroying my head right now. I'm. Tr- <laughs> have you seen a movie with Drew Carey in it? Surely, right? I feel like I have, but it's just okay. not popping in my head. He's in Robots, that animated movie. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Is that it? It's in Geppetto, Coneheads. I've actually never seen Coneheads. No shit. And I've never seen Geppetto. Either. It's the only three <laughs> movies I'm seeing. Wow. Let's, let's pull up Robots. Yeah, I have seen Robots, but I did forget that he was in it. Uh, here's who's in Robots as well. Robin Williams. Yeah. Ewan McGregor. Jennifer Coolidge. Okay, here's one. No. No. Mm-mm. I'm not going to do it. Give me uh, Tom Holland and Russell Crowe. Tom Holland and Russell Crowe? Yeah, get me there. All right. Russell Crowe, who was in Gladiator with... What, what's his fucking name? The guy with the hair lip. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin okay. Phoenix. Joaquin baby. Phoenix. The Joker. Who was in uh, fucking Science with Mel Gibson, who was in... Ugh. See... This is where the part of my brain, like, it's like, now you put me on the spot. And I can sit here. And I, I'll get to there. But you might have some, you, have, you might have a lot of uh, me doing that in there. So, who was in Signs with Mel Gibson? Who was in The Patriot with... Um, <clears throat> guy that's Joker, Joker, died. Joker, 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 Joker. Yeah, uh, yeah. Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger. Yeah, Thank you for helping me out with that. It was in that with Heath Ledger. <laughs> who was in Brokeback Mountain with Jake Gyllenhaal, who was in Spider-Man with Tom Holland. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it worked out, man. You got there, bro. I remember someone gave me, like, someone was like, connect Jake Gyllenhaal. Or not Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh... Haley Joel, connect J- Haley Joel Osment, and then they gave me, I forget her name. It was a, some kind of porn actress. But I was like, dude, I happen to know a fucking movie that she's in. Like, so I started with her, and I was like, this chick who is in the movie Crank, Jenna Hayes. Google it. Jenna Hayes, guys. Old school, like, 
2000s porn actress. DVD era. DVD porn era. So like so. 540p-ish, 720p? If you were to Google it. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's how you'll get it. Because it was like VHS quality or shit back then, you know? But uh, yeah, she's one of the, if you remember Crank 2, she's like, there's a moment like where there's a bunch of porn stars like all picketing. It's like, okay. like, no cock, no pay, no cock, no, like stuff like that. And Jenna Hayes is one of them. But it was like a bunch of famous porn stars. So if you happen to watch porn at that time, you'd be like, it's that person. So I happen to know who Jenna Hayes was at that point. And I was like, my mom's not going to know if I Google this name. She'll get, she'll know if I Google rim job, but she'll, she'll have no idea whenever I Google Jenna Hayes. <laughs> it's like perfect 10, you know? Now she knows. Now she's on the yeah. computer. Where's Jenna Hayes at? I'm not using her computer anymore. I got my own. So. <laughs> I had, I had to be cryptic back then. Mm-hmm. You, you had to be, you know, or you had to hope your mom didn't know what certain terms meant. Right. <laughs> Chicken head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's just certain terms. Yep. Skeet, 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 skeet. Yeah, look that up. Yeah. Dude, I remember like when Chappelle brought that up on the Chappelle show when he was like, you you can't say skeet on the radio. The only reason why you can say it is because why people don't know what it means yet. And whenever he said that joke, I was like, I don't know what it means. I didn't know like till years and years later that they were talking about cum, specifically pre-jack. It's actually pre-ejaculate. But... I never knew. That's what, yeah. Mm. And they were just letting us s- say that in middle school. All, 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 like, <laughs> that, that, ah, no one had any skeet. problem. Oh, skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> <laughs> no one had any idea what it meant. We were, we were in Missouri. We had like three black people. We asked them. They wouldn't tell us. They kept it secret. <laughs> they wouldn't tell us, man. <laughs> I kept asking, I'm like, tell us some white jokes. And they're like, yo, man, we can't, man. That's that's something we keep for ourselves. <laughs> I'm convinced to this day they didn't have any white jokes for us. Probably not. I don't think they had any white jokes. No, I wouldn't have told you any either. You're too white. I, w- I don't know. If a black dude came up to me and was like, man, tell me a black joke. I'd be like, yo, don't, I'll tell Jackson. you one. Okay. I'll tell you one. But remember, you asked me to tell you why. And I didn't come up. I've never come up with any of them either. So I don't, I don't think I've ever come up with a racist joke, actually. Of all the, I don't think I've ever, I, all the racist jokes I know are ones that I've heard. You know? Okay. <laughs> Quit trying to like make this weird. I feel like you're the ones that are making this weird. Like you guys are looking at me like, stop talking about this. It's like, hey, let's just have a serious talk about it. Mm-hmm. I'm not joking about it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm kind of spacey right now. I'm just kind of drifting Bruh. along, so I'm not trying to. Hey, I, I don't. I'm just kind of. I like, feel you there, man. I didn't sleep very well either. Yeah, I didn't sleep well two nights ago, man. And last night I took uh, some melatonin, and then the next day, which is today, I woke up with a hardcore headache. Mm. Went to bed with a headache a few days ago and woke up with a headache. I hate Sucks, that. man. Yeah, allergies as well today, so it was just kind of like I'm kind of spacey right now. Just you know. I've been taking like these sleeping pills. Like Basically, there it's just a leftover bottle of sleeping pills that my mom had, something like that. She like bought a brand new bottle. I was like, yo, can I just take that other bottle that you, since you already got another half a bottle? Can I just get that? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And plus, those melatonin gummies that I do fucking love. I used to look forward every single night because I was like, oh, fucking I get the, two of these gummies right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having like candy before you go to sleep, man. That's how I look at it. I was like, this candy's going to help me go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like $5 a bottle. And shit like that, but you get so much less than like the pill form, you know? Right, yeah. 
So I've been taking like these pill forms that isn't a melatonin, but it's some other kind. And it's been, I don't know, it's give, been giving me like weird sleep patterns, man. Mm. Like I don't fall, I, I fall asleep pretty quickly, but I don't stay asleep. I'll mm-hmm. wake up like around two, but then I'll be like, all right. I feel like I just got a full night of sleep. But I'm, I'm able to just like, just like lay in bed and, you know enjoy my bed for like another hour which is it is nice it is nice when you wake up before like your timer and you're like all right i get to enjoy this bed for another like hour you know Mm -hmm. just oh i just get to stay in this nice warmth that my body created for itself you know yeah little pocket yeah (laughs) (laughs) life's all about those little pockets you know in that big kangaroo yeah (laughs) yeah I feel like a little, just like a nice little Joey, all cuddled up in this little bed I made. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of those guys that kind of tucks their blanket under their bed, or I do with my bed sheets? You know what I'm saying, like the main sheet. Uh, okay. And then I'll have one more that I'll tuck in. The others are just kind of draped over. You know. Really? So I got I got two blankets that are tucked in, but then the others are not. Mm. I hate having a sheet, man. I just don't like the feeling of trying to like pull and it doesn't do anything. It's yeah. so frustrating when I'm sleeping. You know, sometimes I want more blanket and I want to get, like get fully under there, and I don't have enough sheet. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. One thing to, to me, I do like I like it like whenever I pull and it's tight. You know, because uh-huh. I feel like that adds more to like the tucked in this if that makes any sense okay yeah it's it's, it's like being swaddled more, you know more yeah in the bed yeah. it's kind of what it feels like but at the same time <clears throat> i could never sleep like belly up you know because my so on your back yeah, I can never sleep. Like, yeah, I can never sleep on my back. <laughs> In other words, on my back. <laughs> I can never sleep with my kneecaps going directly up to the ceiling. <laughs> I can't sleep tummy down, okay? I just can't do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Back up, tummy down. I can't sleep with my butthole <laughs> touching the mattress. <laughs> I don't like my butt crack touching the mattress anyway. <laughs> but no, that's not the reason why. I can't sleep in that position because, like, whenever it's like tight like that, I like it hurts my feet. You know, mm. I feel like my feet start getting like e. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, forcing weird directions. Yeah, I don't I don't tuck in my sheet and usually if it's hot, I usually stick my feet outside of the blanket to get that cool yeah. that cool air. Just one one leg. <laughs> that one leg kind of balances it out. Sometimes it's the whole <laughs> leg, sometimes it's just both feet, you know, it just depends on how hot it is and what, what I can do to get comfortable. I like yeah. to have a little bit of blanket between my, my knees, you know. It's like, oh god, it's hundred and fifty degrees in here. One leg. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if that doesn't work, you got to take off, like, the top half of the blanket, you know. Yeah, uh, I don't like to do it very often, but if it's super hot. Dude, I've got some weight on me whenever I'm sleeping, man. Especially now that I got that weighted blanket. I've got, you know, like, I've got the sheet. And then I've got a, what, what's that, like, the heavy blanket that's, like, between the sheet and the comforter? You're talking about, like, a down blanket? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it. I don't know. I have no clue, bro. I don't know if that's like if that's actually a specific name or anything like that. But it's just like a heavy, like for me, I've got a heavier blanket or whatever, and then I've got a fucking weighted blanket, and then I've actually got my bed sheet, like my bed spread cover on top of that. So I got freaking four blankets on them, three of them heavy, dog. <laughs> Damn. One of them extra heavy. So, yeah, man. Like I'm weighted down whenever I go to sleep. I'm 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 pretty much in the womb whenever <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Dude, I've got a bunch of like really big blankets and I got even more like another big one this Christmas, but like all I use is just a sheet and like a really thin quilt. Like 
that's just that's the way I I roll, you know. I feel yeah. like those heavier blankets is just it's too hot, man. I I, I hot. my body doesn't generate a whole lot of heat whenever I go to sleep, man. I think the memory like, foam mattress I have doesn't allow heat to escape very well. Yeah, so like just the the bed itself, like so much heat gets trapped on the bottom of the bed that like the top, if that if that traps heat, if that traps heat too. It's like I'm baking in like a little oven, you know? Hmm. So that's probably why. Because like before I had this mattress, I did have bigger blankets, you know? Because uh-huh. those spring mattresses, there's a lot of air and stuff in there. Yeah, I don't know. I've been wanting to get a new mattress that does have like better like cooling, ideally. Yeah. Which is why you should go to Sotvia with Crashing with Friends promo code. <laughs> I wouldn't like, nah. mind getting one of those really expensive beds, the Tempur Pedic ones. That'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always thought like getting one of them beds that like allows you to recline up and all that stuff. I'd mm-hmm. be like, man, I might just make a whole gaming station out of the bed, man. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck not at that point? Turn into a race car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just get yeah, <laughs> get a race car bed. <laughs> Lightning, make it, Lightning McQueen. <laughs> <Ka-chow>. <laughs> <laughs> now I can game on the go. Ka-chow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, honey, check it out. This bed is a car. <laughs> I don't have a good Owen Wilson. I'm working on it. I got a good ka-chow, and that's about it. But well, um, do you guys want to talk about um, my number five question from our most recent questionnaire? Just what sure, was yeah, it? Yeah. I didn't yeah. see it. So or I didn't um, actually. I saw it, but I didn't read them. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Um, so uh, the idea is uh, cats, dogs, or frogs. <laughs> so that's that's the initial right, cats, thing. dogs, and frogs. Cats, it better not be Mary Fuck Kill. It's not <laughs> <laughs> cats, dogs, and frogs. So when you got to marry that, no. Uh, <laughs> choose if one. If you were an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Only Let's if you were an alien. preface this, you're an alien, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, either, okay. So one, you got to pick to keep the same. One, to erase from existence. And one, to choose to gain sentience and a humanoid body. Does that make sense, Jackson? Okay. So one you can ascend, one you can erase, and one you can keep the same. I would keep the dogs the same. Turn cats into humanoids, get rid of fucking frogs. And why is that? Go ahead and explain it. I mean, let's just, for giving me the choice, I like cats and dogs more than frogs. So that's the reason why I'm getting rid of frogs. Dogs are awesome as is. Cats, I don't know. It's a sexual sexual thing, isn't it? You want to? It's a get, sexual thing. Yeah. You know, it's a sexual thing. <laughs> the reason you can't say it is because <laughs> it's sexual. I want to I wouldn't like really say sexual thing because <laughs> whenever I watch, I mean, when I was see, I was about to say when I watched the movie when I never have seen it the play or the new movie that came out. But when I was seeing the trailer for cats, yeah, and you saw those nothing cat about that arouses me at all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing about that. Don't arouses the butt me. Hole. <laughs> but hole, how they bury cat woman. Right. I mean, enough said I've, I've seen it. I've seen enough slutty women like dress up for like cats and stuff like that. If we, it if you mean hot, like there's yeah. more of that around, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. All different types of cats, bro. I don't All know what species. you mean by humanoids. Like, like I would have to like. Do you mean more like Michael Myers, Cat in the Hat, humanoid? Like um, same level, same level as humans. Same level as humans. Able to talk, able to stand upright, as tall as us. All that right, sort but, of thing. But they're still cats. Here's my different reasoning. species. Yeah. yeah. So, I would go. Dogs get the sentience. Okay. Because... Because they're good boys and they earned it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They've already, for their whole lifetime, <clears throat> since we've, you know, made them 
what's the word for t- turning them from wolves in, into what we have now? Domesticated. Domesticated. Yeah. yeah. We've domesticated subservient. Yes. But they've been known as man's best friend for so long. So hopefully if they became, you know, on our level, they would recognize that and remember that if they ever became, you know, an alpha race, mm-hmm. they would remember that they were our best friend. Okay. Cats are bastards, man. They're jerks, dude. So let's get rid of them. And the thing about frogs, it keeps us the same because if we let them become as big as dogs or as big as humans, God, if we let them become as big as humans, man, they could easily become the dominant race. They'd be instantly be superhumans, man. They have this super long tongue and they can jump so far. Uh, I thought you were on cats for a second. My bad. Nope, cats erased. Yeah. But frogs could easily be the most dominant species. Take over the NBA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know what happens to a frog when he gets struck by lightning, though? <laughs> what happens, Jackson? The same thing happens to everything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fucking worst. What are the worst lines I've ever heard? It's so dumb. Oh, man. Someone really should have told them, like, hey, this is one of the dumbest fucking lines I've ever heard in my entire life. We should maybe swap this out for something else. Halle Berry should have said, like, as soon as she got done saying it, she said, that was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever said in my entire life. Let's say something different. I don't know. You weren't there, Jack. I wasn't there. I wish I could go back. You never know. Remember, everybody in the writing room thought it was the most badass line they'd ever heard. And then she strikes him with the lightning. Yeah. Guys, think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Thunder. Wherever he gets hit, you see his skeleton. (laughs) Toad won't know what's coming next, man. Mm -mm. Um, For me, man. He explodes uh, into a firework. (laughs) (laughs) A firework. (laughs) A big heart. Um. For me, man, I think dogs, you got to keep them the same. You know, man's best friend. They're they're like perfect the way they are. You know, I don't really see a reason yeah. to make them any better. Um, cats, yeah, I think it, it really would be too much of a sexual thing. Guys would just be <laughs> all up in that cat shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, well, the thing is, I'm attracted to women, and I feel like women themselves get compared to cats already. Mm-hmm. So. so you're already wanting to cat fight. Cats. Pussy. Yeah. So yeah, I got to erase cats from existence <laughs> flat out. And then frogs, man, I think they would be the chillest of the three races and they'd be like allies to humanity, you know, and probably help us explore the oceans in a lot of ways, ways that we couldn't do. So in other words, just a race of uh, what are the Gungums, Jar Jar Binks. They're yeah. kind of like frogs, but they're pretty damn oh, close. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, they're very close to frogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'd want more like uh, looks more froggish, you know, bigger, bigger frog head okay. type stuff, you know. All right. Long, yeah. longer, thin legs. And then, yeah, you know, big body. Well, just like humans would be like multiple races. You got your, right. your poison arrow ones over here. Mm-hmm. They'd be the coolest looking ones. In other words, the black people of the world the coolest looking the cat style they can pull off everything Mm -hmm. (laughs) put them in whatever outfit they got it (laughs) they can do it (laughs) except for like maybe old style like victorian george washington style we probably got that unlocked but even then that is that's not what's in (laughs) yeah that's not the trend right now (laughs) powder wigs are out yeah yeah that's pretty lame if you were, you can't, you can't go to a club today wearing that and be like, I want to get me some pussy. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> sentient, sentient frogs. Yeah. I think that'd be the way to go. Yeah. So yeah, we all had our own versions of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. I liked it. I can't wait to ask Frank that. (laughs) 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 What do you think, Frank? (laughs) What do you think, Frank? (laughs) Um, That centaur question really threw him through a loop. 
threw me through a loop too. I'm like, why? Why are we now? I kind of want to now. I kind of want to get on like the subject of like, all right, which race would be which dog, which cat, which frog? You know, mm-hmm. I feel like that'd be onto something there. You have to pick one race to be ascended of of each like uh, one subspecies. Is that what you're saying? Like the, like you're choosing a poodle and then or like exactly. German, German Shepherd would be the one, something like that. Exactly. I don't know. I feel like there there could be some racist tendencies, but fun at the same time. No hate in it. Just be like, mm, what? How do we? It's like how do we? Shit zoo Chinese. Oh. <laughs> okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, <laughs> I thought you. Were, I don't know. I, I don't know where about- I was really going for that. I was. I was just like. I, I do know where I was going with that. Germans, obviously German shepherds. <laughs> obviously, mastiff maybe. I don't. Know. I guess more. The more I think about it, it would more just be like where it come down. Like, all right, Asia. They're definitely like the the Doge coin. You know what I'm saying? About they're the Doge. <laughs> they're Shiba, the Doge. Shiba, Shiba Inu. A Shiba yeah. Inu. Shiba Inu. That's them. Uh, then you got uh, friggin' Siberia, Siberian Huskies. Ooh, yeah. Siberians. Yeah. What would be the American dog? What's the American dog? A Yorkie? Nah, it's a... Uh, the Hank, Hank Hill's dog. Lady Bird. Bloodhound. Oh, yeah. Yeah, How about a Bloodhound. Wolf? That's what the American dog. What about a wolf, Connor? Yeah, the thing about Native Americans, they get the wolf. Yeah, they they got the wolves. It's on it's on too many t shirts at this point. They got wolves. <laughs> they have they got, the wolves. They got packs, There's dude. too too many movies, too many too many t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Them and bald eagles, man. Too them. many t shirts with the Indians and the galaxies, the wolves. Yeah, man, they got it. I would like one of those shirts, but with nice fabric and nice quality cotton you know most of the shirts i see they look they look so stiff i every time i see those shirts i'm like god like they're made in the 90s yeah but i want it takes one a just, certain kind of person to wear those guys a shirt i want one just for the ironicness of it you know what i'm saying yeah i'd like to have one that i really liked you know That'd one cool. that was cool and badass yeah, yeah i could wear i'm one. sure there's one out there with a wolf bark or you know howling you know, just the you eyes. Know, just yeah. I can I can feel that because I've always wanted to get one of those no fear shirts, like the one that Bo has. Ever since I saw it as a kid, it's just, like just a really cringe like open up a can of whoop ass shirt. <laughs> <laughs> can of one hundred percent whoop ass. <laughs> I've always wanted one of those shirts and I've never gotten one. <laughs> you look good in one of those, man. I don't think they make those shirts anymore. <laughs> Surely you we can, can find, we can one, find one. Yeah, there's got to be one out there. As a kid, was a skid. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid and I went to Colorado, I was going through like uh, it's like one of those shopping malls, kind of like they have in Branson, where it's just like a bunch of outside outlets and they all link together. Like Estes Park, Colorado, man, beautiful town. And I can't recommend that town enough. But as we were going through the shops, saw. There's no fear shirts. And I was like, dad, can I please get one? Cause I would see kids like wearing like the fuck you. I'm going to go live with the Osborne's shirts and stuff like that. I'd be like, I got to get me a shirt that is edgy. Dad. That's what's going to make me cool. That's, <laughs> one that's going to give me the points, dad. <laughs> dad, I have no fear. You don't get it. <laughs> I'll jump in front of this car. Dad, if I wear this shirt to school and all the other middle kids see it, I'm gonna be so fucking cool, <laughs> but yeah, he wouldn't. He wasn't giving me the shirt. He's like, son, we live in fear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I also really love those. Ah, uh, oh, man, I don't know what style to call it, other than like, you remember like those like big dog. Uh, no, they were like they were like a graphics, and you would usually see like skulls with like crazy cartoon eyeballs on them but they would always you would always see them on like hot rod muscle shirts you know what i'm talking about You're not talking about sugar uh, skulls are you ah man i'm gonna see if i can try to find is the it like a miniature grim reaper 
Is no, it like a kid version of a Grim Reaper? Here's a perfect way to describe it. The art style in uh, the music video on Beavis and Butthead Do America. Okay. Okay. That art style. <clears throat> I love that fucking art style, and I've always wanted to get like shirts with like that kind of style on it, but I could never find like good ones that weren't like five finger death punch shirts or something. Usually they were always attached to something that I hated, which is why I never got those kinds of shirts. Mm -hmm. There's always a, there's always a chance for you to make your own shirt, Jackson, and add all those little layers that you want to put in there. If you just yeah, get a beef and like, shirt that's of that, that'd be sweet. I've almost gotten several Beavis and Butthead shirts, and I just stopped myself. But yeah, Matt, there's been like so many shirts that like I bought like for. I don't know, because I was like, oh, man, this is coming up. There's an alien shirt that I bought, like, not too long ago that is, like, uh, what's it called? It's, like, that famous painting of just, like, the girl sitting there. It's in, it's in France. You know, the Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa, yeah. It's the Mona Lisa, but it's basically just the alien head taking place of the Mona Lisa. I've seen the one with the farmer's couple, and they're, like, aliens. Alien and Predator. Or maybe they're both aliens. No, just like gray, the grays, you know, like an, that kind of version of the farmer and his okay. wife. I gotcha. Yeah, I know the, the painting you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. I don't know. I've never talked this. I feel like I haven't talked this much in a podcast in I a long time. We're about to put you to bed, dude. Yeah, I need to. I need to go to take a nap, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's move into. Uh, uh, the, the the yo dude or something different. Let's move into yo dude. Yo dude. Hey yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo dude. Uh, yo dude, check this out. So they uh, released the first look on Tron Three, which is uh. I guess it's called Tron Ares, and it's a still picture of what, what who one might assume might be Ares. It's like a black suited dude with like the red red lights, you know. But he's like really armored up compared to like say Winsler, you know, in the second movie. He kind of looks like that, but just like way more armored up. So yeah, I'm, I I'm see really this. stoked about that. Like the only thing that doesn't sound cool is that Jared Leto is like one of the main dudes in the movie. Yeah. So I'm really nervous I, he's, about that. Um, it's crazy like how much I've done a 180 on that dude, man. I used to so think that dude was the fucking shit. I was thinking tomorrow's Lord of War. Yeah, Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like I, really like, the, cool. I like that red. Whenever he said red, I was like, don't you mean orange? Nah, it was red. Yeah. So but uh, yeah, apparently he's going to be like an AI program, which I mean, all of them technically are AIs in, in some ways, but pretty cool. I wonder if it's going to be connected at all to Tron Legacy. Right. Hope it is, man. I'm one of those people who thinks that movie's good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I liked it quite a bit. I'm one of those people who like, it's like, man, if you're not going to link it, you might as well just be starting over from the very beginning and give us a brand new Tron, you know? A new, yeah, a new universe. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yo, dude, check this out. Uh, today I learned, uh, in 1991, year I was born, uh, flight deck crewman John Bridges was sucked into the intake of an A6E, which is a freaking, uh, aircraft aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt. And, uh, incredibly was able to survive because he got lodged in, like, he, he became wedged in the engine or whatever, so... Yeah. In a little pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Just got wedged in there. Can you imagine getting sucked in and just being like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you lost any digit, digits or anything or. <clears throat> Hit me with According to this, I don't think so. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Come on. was helped off the flight deck by his colleagues when it was safe and possible to approach him. He emerged from the incident with a broken collarbone a burst eardrum, and some cuts and scrapes. But he could say he survived being sucked into an aircraft jet engine. So, 
Then he went on sick leave due to stress. <laughs> <laughs> that engine man <laughs> got me. <laughs> I keep looking at the kitchen, man, and I keep thinking the engine's going to come back and get me. <laughs> <laughs> he alleged his job was too absorbing. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. It's pretty insane he survived that, man. Yeah. I, can you, I just can't imagine how scary that would be. When I was seven years old, we flew to um, Florida to go to Disney World. And on the way there, we were in like one of the little puddle jumpers, you know, and a lightning bug hit one of our engines. And only my dry cleaners can tell you how scared I was. I really was out there. So that's a joke. <laughs> only my dry cleaners can tell you how scared I really was. <laughs> All your poopy drawers. Yeah. Draws. There was some woman there. I think her name was Hillary Clinton. She stood up and she's like, I'm too old. They're like, I'm too young to die. Whatever. She's like, my whole life, my, no one's ever made me feel like a real woman. <laughs> 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 That's when, I don't know, Ross, Ross Pearl came out of the bathroom. And he's like, Gotta do this real quick. It's like, hey, I'll make you feel like a real woman. <laughs> Iron my shirt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> old joke, old joke. These are hack jokes here. Iron my shirt. Yeah, these are classic, hack jokes. Classic Jack. <laughs> classic Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. I didn't know this to today, but I guess Jackson already knows this, but uh, the skin in our lips and anus are the same type of skin. Mm -hmm. Makes total sense, dude. So soft. So soft, so supple. Yeah, I I don't know why I know that already. But every time I hear about it now, I always think of, there's a line in the movie, The Great Outdoors, that Dan Aykroyd says. Uh, is like, He's like, you know, this guy over here wanted to grill some hot dogs. You know what they make those? You know, you know what they make those things out of? Lips and assholes. And then later on, raccoons are digging in the trash, and they're like eating all the garbage and stuff like that. And but they got subtitles for all the. I can't make the noise. I but yeah, they're like, you know what these hot dogs are made of? Lips and assholes. <laughs> That's a classic movie, man. It's one of my favorites as far as like Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. It's probably my favorite Dan Aykroyd movie, favorite John Candy movie. Really? So, yeah. I like it more than Ghostbusters and any other Dan Aykroyd movie you can think of. So, Huh. This is called The Great Outdoors? Yeah. If you've not seen it, <clears throat> do yourselves a favor and check it out because it's a really good, it's a really good movie. It's not. It's got nonstop zingers in it all the way through it. So nice. It's one of those movies, kind of like, you know, Christmas Vacation and Funny Farm. Like national. It's like one of those National Lampoon movies. It's just nonstop jokes. Mm -hmm. They just keep coming. Hell I'm gonna watch it when I get home. Maybe that's how much I love that movie. Yeah, the bald headed bear. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it, right? Yeah, that's we've done it, everything. Man. We're we're good now. Sorry man. for the half-ass podcast. We had a guest. <laughs> had we had one? Had one. We <laughs> won't name names. He decided to say, "You know what? It's Twelve minutes till podcast. Better tell him I'm not going to be there." <laughs> <laughs> we love you, regardless, unnamed person. Yeah. Sometimes you can't come. Yeah. All yeah. been there. All Don't I know how there. that is. Yeah. yeah, I know what it's like to not be able to come. It feels bad, but it's like sometimes you just can't do it. You know? Yeah, man. It's like it doesn't matter. You move on. Yeah, man. There's always next week. You can always come next week. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. It's up to you. Come here. Come there. Come everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> You see, come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's been episode one, two, seven. Seven, nice. One, two, seven. We're on the way to 200. 
if we can get to 200 subscribers by then. <laughs> no, we're at 332. Oh, really? 331. So mm, we're, we're popping. Bros. We're growing, yeah. man. We're, uh, yeah. We got that many subscribers. Like and subscribe if you don't already do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We did it. 127 Crash with Friends podcast, and that is the end. You may turn off this podcast and go do something else. <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally anything. <laughs> Put on the spot now. Like, uh, like go eat a bowl of cereal. Ooh. Um, go. Fuck, I'm done. <laughs> I My brain is right now. I can't think of anything except how hungry I am. You're always hungry at the end of these episodes, Jack. It's because I don't eat anything for like five or six hours before the podcast, so. We need to feed you, bro. Yeah, man. What, you guys want to go get some food? <laughs> <laughs> right into crashingwithfriends at gmail.com if you want to ask Jackson any questions about his daily life. Yeah. And we'll answer those questions on the podcast because it's probably a wild thing. It probably really isn't. If you have any other questions for us, email us as well. Like, why isn't this podcast getting any better? <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, know, try to, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Or what would you feed Jack if you had some food in your hand and walked up to him and he trusted you? How much, you, how much would you pay to feed me? Five dollars? Ten dollars. Fifty dollars? A hundred? <laughs> Maybe. You, you start messaging us on... You, you just like... You just tag me in the comments. How much are you willing to pay... To feed Jack. Like, you just get a hold of me, man. We'll start shooting some numbers up, man. I mean... <laughs> so if I what? wanted to feed you a bottle of milk, how a, much money? A bottle of milk like a baby? Like a baby. And I burp you. <laughs> <laughs> 500. I'd do it for way less. <laughs> I, was, I would seriously do it for so much less than that. It's like, dude, and I get to get burped, man? Like, shit. Like, I, like it's, I would seriously do it right now for 250 250 <laughs> Dude, we got a price. And you could, you could always fucking lowball me. I'll go lower. <laughs> oh my God, it's 50 bucks, bro. Look, all right, you already, you already fed me. 50 bucks, I might spit at that. You spit up on that? I'd be like, man, I don't degrade myself for anything less than a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> and then I you mean, gotta talk about what kind of degrading we talking about. I mean, if they're just feeding you like a baby, that's not degrading, right? I mean, that's just baby baby work, right? No. Nah. Like if you straight up like fed me like a baby goat, you know, it's like held the bottle up here and it's like <laughs> 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 What about if it was like a gerbil's water bottle where it's like you just gotta lick the little ball thing god that that'd be more of a challenge than it'd be, anything it'd be hard to do yeah like you don't you you have to finish it off that takes so long mm -hmm. if you just filled up a hamster bottle like, <laughs> <laughs> it would be insane this is the longest after episode we've ever had man. but yeah man so start Shoot us some ideas and some cash money prize that this podcast could be something good. <laughs> this could be something in awesome, you know? It could be, but... It just lacks cash inflow at the moment. Mm -hmm. Cash mm -hmm. inflow and, I don't know. Star power. Star power. Yeah, we got the talent. I used to be the talent. I'm giving it to Jackson now. Jackson's now the talent. He's definitely been the talent this whole episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congrats, bro. Yeah. I hate the sound of that, but <laughs> Jackson's a talent now. So. Okay, Jackson, yeah. if you were a centaur right now. If I was a centaur, 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. Minimum. Minimum 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, song you're going to send this out that's, for. That's it, man. We got another hour in this. <laughs> Welcome to Crashing with Friends Podcast 127.b. <laughs> All right, no, I'm done. I'm pushing this. I'm yep. pushing this microphone away from me now. I'm done. I'm gonna go get Brahms or something. I'm hungry. Bye. Crashing with Friends Podcast.